Guys, at what point did you feel like you had figured out that zone? Getting in trouble in the first half there, what was the clicking point? Uh, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Uh, I think probably at the 10 minute mark, I think they went up 20 to 7. After that, we just had a timeout, talked about it, and then figured out from there. Yeah, fact. It's one four straight, leading heading into conference play, which is right around the corner. What do you guys feel you guys are after those four, these last four games played well, especially tonight having to come back against a disciplined Navy team? Uh, I feel like we got the best team to 18, mm -hmm. to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. What, what Jalen said, yeah, and I feel like we're, like, more together now. Like, as we on the road, we just continue to come together more and more. Why do you feel you're the best team in the conference right uh, now? Most people don't think we can win it. Coach has said that. So, if we're going to come out every night and prove them wrong. Did you learn anything from these last four games to make you feel that way? Yeah. Uh, I mean, just keep just keep going. Like like Jalen said, we was just down what twenty three four, I guess. Um, yeah, we just kept going, kept pushing, kept pushing, kept fighting together, we, together and together. Yeah. And coach said uh, Navy play like like Richmond and, and things like that. So like our like conference schedule was like for, for teams in conference. So like we didn't see every look, every offense, every defense. So I feel like we um, yeah yeah we good. Like with, with this being our last conference game, I feel like like uh, like coach said, yeah, we play every uh, other school non conference like that's. Like probably going to win a conference. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned their style of play, a lot of backdoor cuts. Yeah. You yeah. guys felt like you had a good game plan to be able to help out on those. Uh, yes, sir. You know, Coach Brunt. You know, he like for a million with that because you know he was at Richmond and like the person offense like that. So like, proudest was like he was teaching us new things like like that. So it worked out for sure. Yeah, facts. Nick and Jameer, what does it do for the rest of the offense when he and Brandon can get going in the paint? Uh, I feel like it just opens up the floor, like for cuts and stuff. Being not all the focus is like focus on them, like so that everybody really ball watching and stuff. So we get like more back cuts, more like fill behind threes and stuff like that. Just spacing the floor, and letting them work inside. Yeah, to piggy off to piggyback off of what Jameer said. Yeah, like as they go in, get going and get me more cuts and me, me more baskets, get me going. Like they go and get get the whole team going. Nick, have the baseline cuts always been a big part of your game? You got you got freed up on a few of those today. I mean, I'm in. I've been working on that more and more and more because, you know, like I said, they double teaming them in the in the post, so I got to cut. Like I'm trying to work more and more and be like Keyshawn last year. Premier, how would, in your words, how would you explain the theme of this four game win streak? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> mm. Uh. I don't even know. I got him. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, tough and together, because that's that's what that's really what we've been like. We've been tough and together, like really having like only probably one day off out of like the last month. Yeah, we've been, we've been tough and together. Is that a response from the Jacksonville game that y'all kind of came together and said we need to get on a run here? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was time to go. Like we shouldn't have took that out. For sure. What's the on court adjustment like? I mean, I mean, we try to. I mean, we just try to. We try to keep the same defense. Or uh, if one person going and like we, if somebody on my team defending them, we just try to like switch it up and get you know, keep fresh legs on a, a person that's going. Jalen, I, I love your aggressiveness on defense. Mm -hmm. When they do the swing pass to the big man. Three games in a row now, you've been able to step in front and go coast to coast. You know, how much confidence do you have defensively now to be able to read a passing lane and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go pick that? Uh, I have 100 and I have, I have right now, I'm not playing with, with uh, confidence for sure. I mean, it is Coach Bryant and you know, Coach Rose teaching us hand in the gap. So, last three games, it's been easy to put my hand in the gap still. It's kind of a slow start for you guys, maybe like by 13, yeah. you know, almost halfway through. Uh, the first half. So, what you guys? What adjustment helped you guys rally back? And uh, so the game plan was Navy only can beat us on threes and, and uh, layups. So we just give them no threes and layups. And uh, we went, I think I think we went on on a run. I think it was thirty to ten something like that. So. Could you say that again? Uh, the question. <laughs> yeah, just what adjustments did you guys make once Navy kind of got on that run early and you guys were down by a lot. Well, what Jalen said as a team, yeah, but like me specifically, me coming off the bench, I have to like get a get a spark to the team and do anything to turn the team up to get all of us going.
Jimmy or Chris said career high for you. Are you still kind of getting back to 100% with game speed after so much time off, or do you feel like you're at 100% now? Uh, I feel like I'm at 100% right now, but like I'm still like doing rehab and stuff so I can keep strengthening and stuff and just like keep it keep it strong so that it won't happen again. Anything else, guys? All right. Appreciate, Appreciate y'all. Merry Christmas today, y'all.